everyone. My name is Dr. Melissa Cohen and today I'm going to talk about GE stock and its reverse stock split. So I'm going to first begin by explaining what a reverse stock split is and then specifically about GE stock and then also you may want to know the reasons why the company decided to do that. So first of all let me go back and give you some brief history. So as of August or the end of July um, the GE stock was trading for $12.95 on Friday. Got to look at my calendar. That last Friday in July. So over the weekend, they they didn't decide. They did it months ago. But so effective August 2nd, the GE stock went for an 8 to 1 reverse stock split. And this is pretty rare. It doesn't really happen a lot. You don't see it a lot. So what does that mean? So that means for every eight shares of stock you have, you are now getting one share of stock. And that's usually, from a math standpoint, doesn't sound like a good thing, right? So let's just do a visual here. Let me write this on here for you. So you have eight shares, and now you have one share. <laughs> so like I said, from a math standpoint, that doesn't sound very great. But what it also does is it makes the stock price go up. So as I said on the closing on that previous day, it was $12.95 for one share of stock. And then on Monday, August the 2nd, when it opened up, it was trading for roughly, let's do uh, one hundred and three dollars and sixty cents so mathematically that's the same amount so if you had eight shares of stock so eight times twelve ninety five that's going to be your one oh three sixty right so it's going to be the same that's how it kind of works out from that standpoint from a math standpoint now I actually had GE stock had bought it a couple years ago at uh, let's see bought it in 2018 at $13.76 and I mathematically bought 80 shares exactly so my 80 shares are now 10 shares but the same math value is still the same from that Friday to Monday switch right so what does that mean okay so a reverse stock split so basically you go from a larger number of shares of stock to a smaller number of shares of stock and but as I said your value your initial dollar amount, your worth amount, however you want to configure or how, however you want to say that, it stays the same at that point in time, right? So now, as you can see on the website here today, this August 16th, so it's been about two weeks now, the stock price is $103.50 roughly. So it's gone down just, you know, 10 cents a share in two weeks. So one of the reasons why you may be wondering, okay, why why bother right so just doing some research and such on the GE company what had happened generally overall and I'm just gonna say generally I didn't do a deep dive research here is that you know over the last 20 30 years and such you know the company was doing really well they bought a lot of different companies as well different in different industries different um, resources uh, capabilities things that other companies were really good at um, and try to go into new industries for different reasons. So over time though, GE probably became too big. And so over the last few years, they have actually, they've had an accounting, um, I don't want to say a scandal, but they didn't report everything they should have according to the SEC rules. They've had to pay fines for that. They've had to clean up their accounting processes to make sure it aligns with the SEC all the way. They've also divested some of these companies that they had bought that were under the GE umbrella. So maybe some companies that weren't quite in their core, um, uh, core, uh, I want to say values, the core resources, core competencies, that's kind of the main term in the business world. And so they've divested, which means they've just sold off some of these smaller companies and divisions and such that didn't fit their strategy going forward. And so what that also means is that they're a different company. But when they sold off this stock or sold off these companies, their stocks stayed the same. Like this number of shares outstanding 
stayed the same. And so over time, now it's kind of like they have too many shares. And how do you know that? You look at what your peers are doing. So the GE CEO and senior management team on board of directors looked at and said, hey, let's look at a couple, the couple competitors out there and said, okay, their stock prices is three digits. Okay, ours are at $12, $13, $14, right? So how do we do that? Well, we do a reverse stock split. So we actually are going to take the number of stocks we have and we're going to do the reverse stock split. So instead of having eight, uh, for every eight, we're going to get it down to one. So as a company, we're going to have fewer stocks out in the in the market. Now they still have over a billion shares of stock. So, uh, you know, that's not really changing it. But what it also does is it moves the stock price from this uh, $12.95 amount to the $103.60. So when they go look at what their competitors are doing in the same field like Honeywell and things like that, they're in the three digits, which means you know over $100. And so now they're aligned better from an industry standpoint um, and such. There's also some theories of maybe management couldn't get that $12.95 to move as much. It's easier to make the $100 move versus a $12.95 when you have less stock. There's also maybe theories about management not um, maybe capitalizing on all of their resources and such to increase the stock price. Maybe it makes their earnings look better when you're compared to um, the 10356 versus a 1295 stock price. So anyways, I'm just speculating at this point on why the company did that and obviously a little bit of the research I did as well. So hopefully this new reverse stock split just puts them in better alignment so you as an investor can figure out well of you know their competitors and where GE fits which one is a better company and a better value for me to invest in. All right, so if you have any questions, feel free to email me. I hope this explains a little bit about why all of a sudden you're looking through your list and GE went from $12.95 to $103 and it looks like you lost shares uh, when, exact, when actually, as I said before, the value is still the same. They just shifted the number of shares in this reverse stock split. Have a great day. Thank you.